In this video, we're going to talk about how you can use iManage Share to stay productive when you're working from home. First of all, let's explain what is iManage Share. You may not have heard of it. iManage Share is another solution in the iManage family of products. It works very well with, uh, within iManage Work, or it can be used as a standalone tool. So, iManage Share, what are some of the use cases for it? You can use it to collaborate with outside parties. If you're at a law firm, for example, and you have a co-counsel on a case, you can work with them by sharing the content out with iManage Share, and they can only access the content that you want them to see and work on. It could be the same way with clients. You could share different documents that you want to work that are in process, and you can collaborate with your clients as well without them having to have accounts in your iManage Work system. So iManage Share can work within an iManage Work environment, or it can work standalone. Now, if you're not sure if you have iManage Share, you can certainly ask your administrator. It's available both for our iManage Cloud customers and for our iManage on-premise customers. And if you've ever heard the term on-premise before, you'll know that that means that your organization installs all the backend software for iManage as opposed to iManage Cloud, where iManage takes care of all that for your organization and you can just work through iManage via a cloud service. So whichever way your, your organization is set up, whether you're a cloud customer on -prem or on-premise customer, you can use iManage Share. So you can do things like uh, send very large files to outside parties. You can send them uh, securely because everything's encrypted. Now, let's show you how this works in practice. In a normal environment, when you're working in iManage Work, and we'll just go in here for a second and show you what it looks like when you're in iManage Work 10 in the web browser. So you're gonna work the way you always do. You open up documents, check them out, you work on them, you close them, and everybody within the organization can work on the content that you determine they have rights to see. Now, outside parties would have no access to your iManage Work system, and that's a good thing. You only want it to be there in your organization. Now, you can share out individual pieces of content with iManage Work. You don't have to have iManage Share to do that. So some of the options that you can have are to send a link, and that would, link would work inside your organization only, or you can send the native file, and that would be a Word document, a PDF, and so on. Now, when you have iManage Share integrated, it's a very simple process to share out iManage Work content via iManage Share, hence the name Share. So I can send that content to an outside party via a link. It's a download link that gets copied into iManage Share. It's a one-off. I could just send you a link, you click on it, you download it, and you can work on that content. Or I can copy this document from iManage Work into iManage Share as a folder. Now, an outside party could log into iManage Share and see the content that you want them to see. Now, that's when iManage Work is integrated with iManage Share. In some cases, maybe this is not going to work for you when you're working from home. So, everything is a different ballgame when you're working from home. Access to the system may be different. Now, here's what we can do. Instead of working with the integration in iManage Work, we can work solely within the iManage Share portal. That's accessible to you if you have iManage Share. So you can work within Share in the context of your iManage Work system, or you can log directly into iManage Share with the same credentials that you'd normally log in. Now, keep in mind that if you're working from home, your organization may require you to be on the VPN or be on a Citrix connection if you use that technology. Or if they allow you to just use an internet connection, you may be required to do what we call single, uh, double uh, two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication. In other words, I plug in my normal login credentials and I have to click a push code option to get a code to my mobile phone to be able to confirm that I am who I say I am. So if you're working from home, that's certainly an option. It really just depends on how your organization lets you access your iManage technology. Now, let's talk about working in the Share Portal. Depending on which region of the world you're in, you'll log in to iManageShare.com or Co.UK, and we have other um, 
web addresses around the world, depending on where you need our technology to be based, whether it's on the continent in Europe or in Britain or in Australia or in the Asia Pacific region and so on. So we have different websites for iManageShare depending on where you are in the world. Let's say for the sake of argument, we're here in the Americas. So when we log into iManageShare, we're going to see all the content in our company. So I manage share is broken down by our customers. So our customers will have their own libraries within share. Now, in this case, I see a library called I manage training. That's my company. And I see all the content that I put into share via I manage work. But if I want to, I can create folders that live only in iManage Share. So in other words, they weren't created as pointers from iManage Work. I simply logged into Share and I created myself a new folder. Now, when we do that, we can put content in those folders. So I can go into the folder, I can add new content, I can click the upload button, I can browse out to whatever I want to have. So I can go to wherever I want here and I can add some, you know, some document. I upload that file, it gets uploaded to the system. Now, the other thing about Share is it is very quick to upload content. You may have a slower connection at home. It may be a little bit slower than, you know, in the office, but depending on what kind of connection you have at home, if you have a nice broadband connection, you can upload some very large files very quickly. This is one of the big advantages of Share. It's very quick to upload large files, and then it's very easy to share them. Now, I just like I could in work, I could go in here and I could share my content out with outside parties. I can click Share Link, and then I can decide to share this out with anyone. You don't have to have an iManage Share account with my company. You can simply get this link from me. Now, I can give you this as an option. I can say, I'm going to sunset this document at uh, the end of March, and then I can always leave it trackable. In other words, that will let me see who downloaded this document. I can further restrict it that so it only is certain emails would be able to see this. So Jane Doe would be the only one that this download link would work for. But in this case, I'm not gonna say that, no restrictions at all. I'm gonna say it's gonna go to a party and if it's not, you know, if, if, if it's a public link, that's fine with me, it's not an important document. I would wanna restrict this if this was a sensitive document so that someone couldn't pass that download link around. Now, once I've done that, I can click generate link and I can copy this to my clipboard. I can then send it to you via an email. I can put it in an instant message, whatever I want to do. And depending on whether I had it as a wide open link or whether I restricted it, you'd be able to click on that link and download that content. Now, in some cases, I may want to share an entire folder with an outside party, in which case I click on the share button and I can decide who I want to share with. So what I'll do is I can add another party And I can add that person as a member and give them a level of status to that folder. Now, guest would be, I'm gonna let you see a read-only copy of all the documents. In fact, you can download documents from this folder, but you can't add new documents and you can't do anything else with the, the folders. If I make you collaborator, you could create new folders in this, in this folder, so create subfolders, and you could add new versions of documents and add other documents at will. If I give you co-owner status, it's as if you created it yourself, so you could give other people permissions and so on. So depending on your comfort level, you can allow people to have that level of access. Collaborator is probably fine. Now I apply that. Now this person that I invited, Phyllis, will now get a message and say that this content has been shared with you. In fact, this folder here, everything in it. So there's no separate security. If I give Phyllis access to this folder, she gets access to everything inside it. And since I gave her collaborator status, she could create new versions of this. She could download them. She could share them with other people because I had that comfort level to give her that collaborator status. Now, once I've done that, she can log in to iManage Share and she only sees the things I want her to see. So I'm gonna go back and show you at the company level here, I'm gonna go back up to the company level and show you all the different options that I have. I have some documents in here and I have some folders and some other things. 
Now that's me who logged in. The person who was invited to that would log into iManage Share and they would only see the folders that you have shared with them. So one-off links, you don't have to have a share account. I can just share with that, with that person. It could be a very large file. It can send it securely. I can email it to you. But if I give you access to the folder, you can log into iManage Share, but only see the folders I want you to see. Now, yeah, I can remove your access from that at any time. My administrator and my organization can uh, disable your account. But the nice thing about iManage Share is you can invite outside parties and they will automatically get iManage Share uh, accounts. They'll be invited to create a password and log into your share library. Now, that is a, uh, a an organization specific feature. So your administrators can allow you to invite anyone if they don't already have a share account, or they can say, no, only an administrator can provision it. Now, most customers will let that be open to invite anyone, but the administrator can shut that person off that they invite at any time. They can disable their account or they can delete their account entirely. So your organization has complete control over this, but most users will be able to invite that co-counsel invite that client in. So what is the use case in, again for this? Your home, you have limited capabilities with your broadband connection or you have a, a small, a lesser connection. You're gonna be working on these things mostly on your local computer. I don't have to have any special software installed. I just need access to iManage Share. Nothing else required. I can have content and edit it on my local machine. I can upload it to share. I can share it with outside parties. I can share with people inside my organization. I can share with outside parties, whatever I choose to do. So share is a great tool, whether you have limited internet capabilities or if you have full-blown capabilities, you're working in the office, you're working from home. It's a very um, helpful tool, has a lot of use cases for it.